working with a pro team is not the common career path. So everyone <laughs> gets into the sport saying, I want to work with pro athletes. Mm -hmm. And it's rare. It's probably about maybe 5% of people in sports psychology work with pro teams. So you want to get into the sport, you want to get into the field, do your passion for this, for the field. And then, Hey, if you get to work with a pro team, that's like a bonus, right? If, if, if your skill set um, and your qualifications lead you in that direction. Um, but there's a lot of the, the um, NCAA has actually opened up a lot of opportunities for people to do stuff in, in the college realm, um, especially the big five conferences. They all have at least one sports psychologist full-time on staff. Now, a handful of those people did get their jobs due to having the mental health background, and they weren't as experienced in the performance side of things because there was a need and there wasn't enough people who were dual like me. So mm -hmm. just kind of keep that in mind as you're thinking about where your career paths should go. Um, but the people who are dual definitely cinch, secure the uh, better positions. Um, in addition to that, there's a private practice option. I actually did that where I worked in private practice and I consulted with, um, like I consulted with the Charlotte Hornets for five years and I worked in NASCAR for a while. And so it was more on a part-time basis. Um, and then I would see individual clients at my private practice from like elite high school players all the way through uh, um, retired professional athletes.